If you're ever feeling overwhelmed by all of the apps on your Android phone, then as we all know, widgets can be a great way to personalize your home screen and quickly access information. This video explores some of the best Google Android widgets to boost your productivity and enjoyment in 2024. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Before that, it's the annoying part of this video though, where I ask you to subscribe to the channel. It helps me out and hopefully it helps you out further down the line because it tells us that you like this content. Let's help build the biggest and best Android and Google enthusiast community on the internet, but let's get back to those widgets. One of the signature Android widgets is the at a glance widget. It's super basic, but it's integration into your Google account that definitely makes it one of the most popular options. You get the time, the date, the weather conditions, and that kind of thing. And integrations also include things like the Nest camera alerts, package and flight tracking information, calendar pings, fitness activity, timers, torch indicators, and way more on top of that coming later down the road. It's a clean, multi-purpose home screen widget that is persistent on Google Pixel phones with no way currently to remove it. This was actually exclusive to Pixel phones for a long time, but has since been updated to work with more phones. However, it won't look quite exactly the same. You can choose various styles that fit in with Material U guidelines, the semi-transparent, transparent or solid, but on non-Pixel phones, I will say the data isn't as comprehensive. You do just get the current weather conditions and temperature in a pill-shaped placeholder. It should adhere to dynamic color theming settings if your device supports that, but it's at least a nice way to mimic the popular Pixel widget without requiring a third-party launcher. The Google Clock application has a few material you designs all there to help you track the time, which is probably as much as you should expect. You can choose from various clock styles, including analog and digital times to suit your preferences. The analog clock style though includes a few style and shape options that will suit your device theme if you do want to tweak that. Some of the widgets within the clock app also in display alarms if you want those, so you'll never miss an important wake up call or an alarm that you've set. One of my personal favorites is the global time widget though. If you add world city times within the Google clock application, these can be displayed in a card layout on your home screen and it's super useful for keeping track of various time zones, something I actually have to do quite a bit in the day to day basis. So added all the way back in Android 12, the conversations widget is technically limited to Google Pixel phones. It is a super small chip style widget that tracks any active chats on various applications on your device. It won't show much information beyond unread notifications, brief messages or missed call pings, but tapping this brings up or it brings you to that specific conversation and it's simply a hot link in that regard. It's really useful though, if say you have one app for one contact and it's one of the reasons why we thought we'd mention it in this video. The digital wellbeing widget also helps track your on-device app usage. It comes in a two by two or three by three format and shows your top apps and usage times within small circles. It's a good way to get a better grasp of what applications you're spending the most time with using each day. Tapping opens the digital wellbeing dashboard though for further data if you do not delve into that. Why is this useful? Well, it actually helps you get a better view and better insight into your phone habits. It lets you track screen time, app usage, and how often you unlock your phone to identify areas for improvement and therefore promote a healthier digital life, something I think we could all do a little more readily. Google Drive has a couple of widgets designed to specifically help you easily find any files that you've stored in the cloud. The Quick Action Strip widget lets you quickly upload any on-device files or even scan a document without having to delve into the app itself. There are also options for search or to search and open the full Google Drive application. The suggested file Google Drive widget though is perfect if you need to access documents, spreadsheets and more files on your Android phone and I think it's one of those ones that is super set up for productivity and one if you have a device say like the Galaxy Note series or the Galaxy S series which have now become the Note series it might be useful to you. With the Google Maps widget on your Android phone you should also be able to get around much faster right there from your home screen. You actually have a couple of useful widgets including a nearby traffic option that shows just how busy local roads and transit services are within your vicinity, something I really do like having access to. You can also find nearby places of interest like coffee shops, gas stations, or EV charging points, and then restaurants. Or you can just get directions home conveniently from your home screen with the chip style widget. If you're in an unfamiliar location, both maps widgets are really good home screen companions, especially if you travel a lot throughout the day. Google Keep might not be the most feature
feature rich Android application out there, but it definitely is beloved by the people who use it daily. It also has a few solid home screen widgets that provide enough information and utility to be considered useful day to day. You can use the quick capture button to quickly jump into a new checklist, a sketch or animation, a voice note, or even a picture, or just create something from scratch. You can also pin a single note or checklist, and I actually love this option myself as it's also helping me keep on top of tasks or more often than not shopping requests as you can check things off right there from your home screen. The note collection is richer in features as it lets you select specific notes to show based upon the label that they've been assigned. This helps you keep access to the type of list that you would or might need on a day-to-day -day basis or you can just go ahead and show all of your notes if you do need to refer them or refer to them throughout a daily basis. If like me you do happen to travel a lot, Google Translate is a useful but not always perfect way to converse with people. You can use the quick translate option, the widget that is, for text, spoken word, or jump directly into that interpreter mode so the phone can take care of that translation. There are options to take a picture if you need need to check an image or take a photo of something like a menu and translate it directly which is also super useful. The save translation widget though is where I think a lot of people traveling might find the most use especially as you can save some recent phrases that you can quickly refer to if you need them. It lets you revisit any recently translated text from the Google Translate application and saved text translations will work without a network connection although the only downside here is you will need a network connection if you do want to hear them out loud or play them to the person you're trying to have a conversation with but with that said it is a really useful tool as like I say you don't need a network connection you can save some phrases and you can have them on hand when you need them while you're traveling. One of the lesser known Google applications Arts and Culture is a really cool app if you do want to gain information and knowledge about art and culturally significant content and the app puts that all right at your fingertips. The Arts and Culture widget though is a little bit more stripped back it just showcases a new piece of artwork from artists each and every day. The caveat is that the images, photos and art shown change daily so you might not see them all the time. This isn't all that useful but it might expand your horizons and tapping on this will give you an overview of the artist in question and is a really nice way to find out more about artists each and every day. Google has two neat contact widgets that might be really useful if you have a few favourite people that you connect with on a regular basis. You can put individual contacts right there on your home screen if you wish and this will let you quickly start a call or send an SMS message with that person with a large profile picture being shown if you have set one. If you have a few favourite contacts you can add a quick bar to pull from any preset favourites. Tapping these opens up their full profile rather than initiating a call or text so I think that one is a little bit less useful but overall they are options if you do want them on your home screen. We all know the default browser on most Android phones is going to be Chrome and it has a few useful widgets of its own but not more so or at least more so fun than the Dino game. You may have seen this before, played this on a Chrome browser, but this is just a quick launch into that popular endless runner game when you would usually see this after losing connection to the internet. It's goofy, but I think it's a neat Easter egg widget that you should definitely stick on your home screen at least more than once. If you're thinking you want something more productive, then the bookmark widget might be op an option for you, but this list just lets you jump quickly into your favorite sites. It's not visually appealing like that dino game is. If you're a Pixel Watch or Fitbit user, then I think you might want to throw that Fitbit widget on your home screen. It's pretty bare bones, but it tracks your current step count. That said, we do expect it to develop over time as Google has made plans and further plans for Fitbit and it's likely going to become the home for your all of your fitness tracking on Google smartphones, at least later down the line. If you do want something a little bit more feature-rich, at least for the time being, you can always stick with that Google Fit widget, which has a little more information on step count and heart points, but overall these are pretty much identical, save a few tiny little changes. So one of my favourite widgets that I always put on all of my home screens is from Google TV, and I think this is one of the best home screen widgets, period, especially if you use a Chromecast or Android TV system. Firstly, it's great for checking out popular shows or getting quick recommendations of what you should watch next. Most importantly though, once you've paired with a Google TV device or Android TV device, you can actually pull up a quick remote to control your TV. I personally lose my Chromecast remote so often that this widget is a godsend, but if you haven't tried this already, it's definitely one to try out.
for yourself. So that's a few of our favorite Google exclusive widgets for 2024, but there are a few honorable mentions we thought we'd add right at the end of this video. One of those is the battery widget, which is only available currently on the Pixel device lineup. This just keeps track of your phone and any Bluetooth connected devices and shows you a brief overview of the lifespan or the expected lifespans for these. It's super simple. I always add this to my Pixel phones. It's a really nice option because it's visually very easy to understand. Another one is the weather widget, which is sadly also only available on Pixel phones. The weather widget from Google is, dare I say it, pretty perfect for getting current conditions. And there are a couple of options for you there and Google Photos. And I think this is a really awesome way to see your own photo library right there for your home screen and there are a couple of options at least visually which fit in with that material you redesign i would though also like to see a few more youtube music options if you do use the service we didn't want to throw this into this main video each widget does look great and it caters for things like playlists and music playback needs but we'd like to see a few more options from youtube music later down the line of course in this video we definitely missed a few options but check in with our previous previous rundown from 2023 down in the on-screen card if you want some more Google widgets for your device. I want to ask you though, what are your favorite widgets that you use daily on your Android phone or even if on your iPhone? It's very interesting to see. We don't have a lot of iOS viewers out here, but let me know down in the comment sections below. Until next time, this is Damien saying thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.